This video explains the solution to Singapore GCE O Level Additional Max 2015 Paper 1, Question 12. Now, this is a rate of change question. Now, for rate of change question, I usually do these three steps. I will write down what are the information given, write down what we are trying to find, and use chain rule to form the equations. Let's write down what are the information given. We are told that the x coordinate of P increases at a constant rate of 0.02 units per second and because this is the x coordinate this is dx dt okay dt because of the second the second information given is the y coordinate is decreasing so decreasing we must have a negative sign decreasing at the rate of 0.36 units per second so y coordinate so is dy dt and we are supposed to find the x coordinate at these instances now i'm going to use chain rule to form an equation since i'm given the expression for dy dt my chain rule i would like to start with dy dt so dy dt equal to dy here multiplied by dt here these two expressions here must be the same so that we can get the dy dt and since i know dx dt so i like to put here a x dx here and here must be dx as well so this expression is given here this one is given here dy dx i don't know the value or expression for dy dx but i know the expression for y from y i can just differentiate this respect to x to get an expression for dy dx so now I'm going to find dy dx. Let's differentiate to find dy dx. This is a division. So to differentiate, I have to use the quotient rule. I need to square whatever below. Then keep, then keep the below expression and differentiate the top expression. This is a constant. Differentiate constant will give me a 0. Minus away. Now I keep the top expression and differentiate this expression here using uh, chain rule bring down the power power minus away 1 and differentiate whatever inside the bracket will give you a 2 we simplify this expression we can simplify this expression so this will give us a negative 144 divided by 2x plus 1 power 3 so now I'm going to plug this expression into this equation here, this one into here, and this into here. We got all these numbers. Our aim now is to find the x coordinate. So let's make 2x plus 1 cube the subject of formula by moving the 0 0.02 over first, which will give us negative 18. Let's make this a subject of formula. Hence, 2x plus 1 to the power of 3 will give us a value of 8. And therefore, x will give us a value of 0 0.5. Hence, the x coordinate of p is 0 0.5 at these instances. In this question, we are told that the area of A is equal to the area of B. And we are asked to find the value of a so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, form a equation that equate the two area together and from that equation we're going to find the value of a so this is the information given again area of a what we can do is we are going to integrate the area under this curve from x equal to 1 to x equal to a so the expression is integrate from 1 to a the equation of this curve is this and this is equal to the area of b area of b we are going to integrate this part of the curve from x equal to a to x equal to 4 so integrate the lower limits is x equal to a the upper limit is x equal to 4 the same curve The unknowns are at the limits, so what we need to do is 
we perform the integration first then after that we substitute the limits let's perform the integration by moving 2x plus 1 square up first so here we get 36 2x plus 1 to the power of negative 2 same here now since uh, 36 is a constant what we can do is we can remove 36 from both sides of the equation that will simplify our calculation now we are going to integrate this expression power plus a 1 divide by the power multiply by the coefficient of x which is a 2 so we just put the limits on this side of the expression so again integrate this expression will give us the same result now the limits is from a to 4 now before we substitute the limits into the x here I would like to simplify this expression so it's negative 1 over 2 to x plus 1 to the power of positive 1 I bring down this expression the limits will stay so we have the same expression here with the with different limits to simplify our calculation let's uh, remove the constant so now is a good time to substitute the a to the x here we have 1 over 2a plus 1 substitute the 1 to the x here 1 over 2 plus 1 equal to substitute the 4 to the x here minus away substitute the a to the substitute the a to the x here we can group these two expression together this will give us 2 over 2a plus 1 equal to let's uh, bring this one over give us 4 over 9 if we solve for a a will give us a value of 1 whole and 3 quarter Please visit this website for more videos.